Welcome to Ispa West Farms where we grow what we eat and we eat what we grow. Today I'm going to experiment with three sisters, mesquite trees and pumpkin seeds. Now here's the experiment I'm going to do today. There's the concept of the three sisters planting. A three sisters planting has three components. One is uh, bean, one is corn, and the other one is uh, squash. The beans provide nitrogen, corn provides support, and the squash provides ground cover. Can I use pumpkin seeds, plant them under the tree, and establish roots? We are here on the back of the farm. Our farm is located in North Central Texas, that's part of the Blackland Prairie. That's a strip of dark clay soil that goes from all the way from between Austin and Houston up north into Kansas. Traditionally, it has been, like the name said, it has been prairies. This tree here is a mesquite tree. The nice thing about mesquite trees is that they're bean trees, so they're nitrogen fixers. They are considered native invasive, so they are all over the place. If you don't do anything, then they kind of take over. Mesquite is a so-called pioneer tree. Pioneer species are plants that grow first before anything else grows. If there's been a burn or somebody plowed the field, then these pioneer species come and establish their roots until other plants can grow. The seeds here that I have are from fruits that we planted last year in the garden. So they don't cost us anything. Right? We would either use them as chicken food or we would uh, use them as compost. The plan is to use the seeds, put them under the tree and see what happens. I have Heinz trusted hoe here. I sharpened that up so I can cut through the grass and I have the seeds. Let's get started. So we've got some nice tree here. That tree is probably seven, eight years old. The previous owners used to cut down all the mesquite trees and uh, try to get rid of them. They have these tremendous thorns that are really bad for tractor tires. Now those mesquite trees, they grow from stumps, they are almost indestructible and they pop up pretty much everywhere if you don't do anything. And I can see under the tree, the soil is much, much more moist and it has more organic matter. There's grass that accumulates at the trunk of the tree. The leaves fall down on top of the soil. So there's much more compost and it is a much better place to grow anything. I need to make sure that I cover the seeds well because if the chickens and other birds come here and find the seeds, they're gonna be very happy and have a feast. And we don't want that to happen. And then I put a little bit of the hay back. It's a bit of a balance. I wanna make sure there's enough sunshine and temperature Oh, and the temperature gets high enough so the seeds germinate but I don't want to have it completely exposed so the animals find it and dig it up. It's been three weeks since I seeded the pumpkins and squash underneath the mesquite tree. 
We had a decent amount of rain this spring. The prairie is full of wildflowers. We have a tremendous amount of butterflies. Never seen so many butterflies as this year. So it's been a good year. So let's see how the pumpkins and squashes are doing underneath the mesquite trees. I've got a nice cluster of pumpkins growing. They've got their first leaves and start getting the first real leaves. So I would call this a success so far. We need to see how this works out in the long run. I hope the squashes will establish themselves well before it gets really dry and hot. They do have very strong root systems, so with some luck they found some nice spot where these mesquite trees grow, where we have some more water than in other places, and they will thrive and be protected against uh, deer and other animals and uh, get us some, some fruits that we can eat in fall. In this video I tried a new way of doing the Three Sisters system. Three Sisters is a type of polyculture where you plant multiple trees that provide shelter, ways to climb up and uh, nitrogen fixers. Let's see how it goes. I will keep you updated. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to follow the success and failures at the East by West Farms, hit the subscribe button and if you have any comments and suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below.